What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to go well over what I say in the uh, title of this video. So this is a pretty obvious thing. I guess, you know, it's still a rumor. So you still got to take it with a grain of salt. I think it's very, very true. It comes from a very reliable source. And again, it doesn't break with what we are so familiar with with the uh, Persona series. So we don't even have, um, this isn't even necessarily like a scoop like this person just put it out there. There was actually a tweet talking about just copy college life or adult life in general and this person Midori swoops in just to say like hey we're shutting that down it's not happening so let's read kind of the conversation that happened so we just have a post saying I think a college setting is the worst possible change persona could undertake eternal punishment was good because it had an entirely different formula there was no schedule Yakuza 7 slash 8 also applies somewhat you could go back to that but it'll piss off a lot of modern fans and then Midori comes in and says we're not getting out of high school with this one and that's already kind of becoming I think a meme with the community so I want to just you know tip my hat to that one but you know again now is this shocking well you know this was posted on reddit and the responses are what you would probably expect it to be right like uh call of duty game a future call of duty co game comes out and you're not like a soldier etc etc of course you know you expected this but I mean but people are right the people that say well hey this does dispel any people that say you know could they do something more adult or could they move to a college like you know we talk about future bully games if rockstar ever wants to do that and hopefully one day they do obviously that makes sense to go from high school to college you expand the world rockstar uses you know it's open world kind of magic you know could a persona game work not in a high school i think it I, I mean i'll be honest with you i think it could there is something very special to it these games generally follow a formula but i, I think there's something kind of magical about it i think it's just become something so engraved in persona again could you do it without the high school setting I think you could, but I think they have found other ways around. Like, I don't know, are people tired of, like, the, you know, the daily things and going through the fall, the winter, taking exams, like, doing all... I'm personally not, you know, done with it. Like, I want to keep doing it, and I like how they've done it. I think they've kind of evolved it. And they've also, I mean, honestly, as these games go, and I think each of them maybe in their own way, because there's so much more going on, I mean, these games are 60 to 100-hour games, right? There's so much happening that I feel like, I mean, it pulls you out of the school setting pretty often. You spend a lot of time not in school. You also spend a lot of time in school, and there's, you know, elements to it, but I think they've done a really good job. I think, it's again, it's kind of engraved in the formula of Persona. So while I do think it could work, and it's interesting, actually, they bring in, you know, Yakuza, like switching from the combat style. But you know what? Not Nothing else really changed all that much. Like there's still the flair of what makes a Yakuza game a Yakuza game. That's still there in Like a Dragon and then Infinite Wealth. It's just, I mean, the main and really one of the only changes is that combat style of being turn-based. I think it works perfectly. So I do think you could do other things with Persona, but you know what? I mean, it takes so long to make these games. I mean, give us six, and then maybe, you know, 10 years from now when you do seven, you can change things up. I, I do want to throw one other kind of like personal thing into it, though. And I I've said this before with like other games. I am happy with like the era that we're in with Persona 6. And what I mean by that is I just I want this game very, very soon. I mean, I love Persona, and I think 6 is going to really be something special. Obviously, we're not there yet, and there's been loads of rumors as to when they will you know, actually announce this thing and when the thing will actually release, it seems like, 2025. I mean, it being in this like rumor state, again, this is obvious. This is an obvious thing. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. It doesn't take a person with inside knowledge to say something like this. But we have been in this era of like leaks and rumors, but not too in depth, right? Like we've gotten like rumors of maybe like color schemes, but I mean, we haven't really gotten character stuff or overall themes of the game. We're not there yet. So we're in the middle of this like leak like period for the game, which means you're getting closer, but we haven't gotten to like the real crazy stuff where like it starts to say, oh, okay, here's the main cast. There's going to be this many of this people, this many that like we haven't really gotten to that yet. And I imagine in 2024, we will probably tackle those things. Plus, hopefully, for the love of God, seeing a trailer. I really hope slash think the game will be revealed at some point this year. So let me know what you think. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Like I said, I mean, if there's anything ever shown or officially talked about Persona-wise, I absolutely want to cover it on the channel. It's, it's going to be a game I think I cover quite a bit uh, going into 2025. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.